Hi, sixth grade band. This is Mr. Davis. Uh, today's lesson is for Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. So 11, 17, 20. We're going to be on page nine today. Um, we're looking at page nine, number 26, and then 27 on page nine. So 26 is Good King Wenceslas. It is a Christmas type of song. I know it's not Christmas yet, but it's starting to get colder. And we'll get there pretty soon, actually. Thanksgiving will be here. Christmas will be here before we know it. So number 26, Good King Wenceslas. We have to define uh, a soli or a solo and also tutti. So solo is one line of music, perhaps a melody, is played by one person. Remember, you can't have a company with you, but if you take the lead, you are the solo. A soli is one line of music, perhaps the melody, is played by a small group of instruments. Okay? And then tutti, T-U-T-T-I, means everybody plays the same line of the music all together. All right. So today we're not going to get to play um, a soli or solo, but you will be at home <laughs> on your own. Uh, this is a traditional English carol, and a carol is a song of English origin, usually connected with Christmas. These English songs are often traditional and date back to medieval times. Uh, Christmas songs from other countries are sometimes called carols. All right, has anybody um, heard of another uh, country or Christmas thing that was called a carol before? So just think about that if you have. I would normally ask you that in class, but you're not here. So um, just make sure you, you know what a carol is and you know how to say this, which is Good King Wenceslas. So say Wenceslas. Wenceslas. Okay, here we go. 26, I'll do the wind parts. 26, and then we'll do 27, and then we'll do percussion afterwards. All right, just play along with me. Look at your first note. Remember, a C in the music at the beginning means common time. Instead of writing 4-4, four, four, sometimes you'll see a C, and it's the same thing. It's the most common time out there is 4-4. Four, four. So anytime you see a C um, as the time signature, that means common time, and it's 4-4 four, four time. All right, here we go at the beginning. All wind players. One, two, uh, one. Two, ready, play. <laughs> So you'll see that in, in the music. And make sure you take a breath every two measures and make sure that is, that's a nice connected uh, two-measure phrase on each one of those. Okay? All right. Now you're going to go to 927, um, Song of the Forge. Okay? Um, so this actually is a Norwegian folk song. Remember, folk song is a song of the region. Um so this will have soli, soli, solos as well, so practice it so when we're together we can do it sometime, okay? Um, let's see here. Um, Norway is a country of beautiful ice-capped mountains, long steep-sided inlets from the North Sea um, fjords, so called fjords. Okay, um, they're also cut into the mountainous coast there in Norway. So it's the North Sea. So we're talking about, you know, like Elsa, Anya, uh, those people. Um, so 27, let's play it together. Here we go. One, two. Oh, one, two. Ready, play. <laughs> Practice number 26, 27 on page 9, and do that for about 15 to 20 minutes after this video. Thanks, 6th grade band, and have a great day. All right, don't forget percussionists here on page 9, 26, Go King Wenceslas, so it's your turn, percussion. So we're going to be looking at multiple bounces and single taps in this, okay? So I'm trying to get myself positioned here so you can kind of see it. So if I have a multiple, remember I'm going to let that hit. Um, uh, it was a good, good fulcrum here. Um, that's going to multiply bounce. Here we go. Beginning of 26. One, two, ready, go. Multiple, 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 tap. Rest, rest, left, rest, left, rest, left, right. And then multiple.
multiple, 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 tap. Rest, left, rest, left, rest, left, right. So practice that percussion and get that together. All right, sixth grade percussion. Here's 27, Song of the Fjords, right? So this is for you. Like I said, this comes with that region like Frozen's uh, based in. So like um, Anna and all those and El Elsa um, from Frozen. So we're gonna start with our left hand. Remember, if it's a sideways triangle accent, put more emphasis on that, bring the dynamic louder, use the wrist without going crazy. All right, remember when you do bring it up here, if you have, um, like I said in here, we're gonna be practicing solo and then 2D would be everyone. Here we go. One, two, left hand first, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, rest, left, rest, left, right, left, rest, right, left, right, right, left, 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 rest, rest, right, left, right. Okay, let's so practice that and then 15, 20 minutes on your own with it. Practice both 26 and 27 on page nine percussion. All right, now everybody, let's watch the music theory together. All right, seventh, eighth grade band members, this is lesson six review, student assignment. All right, this is what you will do on Schoology. Um, you will look through your lesson six and fill in the notes, okay, with pitch, and you gotta see whether it is treble clef or bass clef. So number one starts with treble clef. All right, so it gives you the first example here that it's an A, because it's the second space, F, A. So what you have to do is either find if it's a line note or a space note. Remember, a face in the space. Every good boy does fine on the line. And match up the letter name with the note. All right, then on number two, it switches. So now you have all cows eat grass, all cows eat grass in the space. And good boys do fine always, so make sure you are doing bass clef on number two. Okay, so the pitch for number three, write the letter name under each of the quarter notes. So you're still going to do the same thing, but you're going to make sure it's treble clef on number three. Bass in the space, every good boy does fine on the line. Okay, and then four, same thing, still going to be treble clef. All right, so face in the space, every good boy does fine on the line. All right, now it switches over to five on bass clef. All right, so bass clef, um, all cows eat grass on number five for space notes. And then for line notes, remember, good boys do fine always. All right. Then you have to actually, on number six, using treble clef, you have to write the whole notes in there, okay? So just like uh, the example that's given, G's on the second line, now you have to do a whole note on the note A. So F A, you would draw in the second space, okay? All right, so that's six. You make sure that's treble clef all the way through to the end of six, and you draw whole notes there on the letter name you need. And remember that if it does say like notes like F, you could either have an F space note or F line note. So there are some that will have multiple answers that could be correct. All right, then on number seven, you're gonna do bass clef on number seven, and you're gonna write half notes. So you're gonna make sure, you gotta watch the stems. Remember on this one, if it's on that third line or above, the stem is gonna go down, all right? If it's below the third line, then the stem is gonna come up, okay, on these half notes. But you have to actually write the correct pitch in and do the half note stem things correctly, so watch seven. Uh, this assignment will be out of 16 points. Um, let's see if I can get this to move any. Um, so actually you have a number eight down here too that you have to do as well. On number eight, you will uh, make sure that it is treble clef and, okay, so that's treble clef here that you will do quarter notes and watch the stems on this for treble clef. So face in the space, every good boy does fine on the line on eight. So you really got to watch this assignment. It is a review checking on the stems direction, um, also checking on pitch, and also checking on treble and bass clef. So there's a lot of things going on. So this one might take you just a little longer today. All right, so just as um, to remind you, remember number one, number three, number four, number six, where you're drawing the whole note, and number eight, where the quarter notes, 
is all treble clef, okay? All treble clef, face in the space, every good boy does fine on the line, okay? Then you gotta remember, um, for bass clef, that's gonna be two, five, and seven, okay? So, writing letter names in two and five for bass clef, and then on number seven, you're gonna draw the half notes with the stem on the correct side. If it's on the third line or above, the stem comes down. If it's below, if the note is below the third line, the stem goes up, okay? All right, remember if it goes down, that the uh, stem goes on the left-hand side of the note. If it's going up, the stem goes on the right-hand side of the note. Remember for bass clef, you have to read it differently. All cows eat grass is gonna be the space notes, okay? Space, all right? Then, if you're doing uh, line notes, it's going to be good, boys, do, fine, always as you go up, okay? And that's the line notes in bass clef. So remember the difference of bass clef. Those that play it are used to that more. We have more treble people than the others, okay? So make sure you, you do this assignment. Go through it all. Be thorough with it. Don't just slop down answers, but actually try to read treble and bass clef so that you get better at reading your notes. Thank you, and once you're done with this, you can go to your next period class. Thank you.